We are in Pasadena today and um, dropping off the trailer to my friends to use because they need to get some equipment. I picked up some lunch from Lanasia, Dim Sum House, and baby is awake. He slept for a good 30 minutes. And so, yeah. Everything's in here, Brian. Right here. COVID time, we're having uh, lunch in front of the city auditorium. Civic Center. Oh, Civic Center. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Scooper's heavy. Sticky so rice. Okay, my man. It's about 7, almost 8 p.m. We're having dinner. Eggplant and Brussels sprouts. You like it, honey? Clap your hands. Yeah? Mmm. Yes. And cauliflower rice with um, catfish. Nahaka. Yes, look at that. Yum, 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 yums. Mmm. So, for the past couple days, um, maybe like a week, I mm -hmm. say a couple days because times just, you know, go by so fast. It just. Anyways, um, he was fussy for a moment, and then we. We're like out and about the other day and I sat in the back seat with him to feed him and I could see as he was opening his mouth some white stuff in his mouth. So I checked, put my finger in there and you got some teeth growing. So he's teething. Yeah. Two in the out. back and two in the front. Uh -huh. uh, I mean two on, in the back on the top and two in the back. I want to show everybody. On the bottom. So okay. four total that just cut through and that's why he was like super super fussy and just making us a huge, you know, uh, hurricane. Can I see your teeth? Yeah? You gotta put your uh -huh. finger in and then you can touch it mm. in his gums. My hand's not clean. Okay. So, um, yeah, I mean, I was, I guess I was thinking that it would come out like near his front area, like frontal, but it's all the way in the back, like mid midway back so eggplants baby yeah he likes eggplants so today <laughs> a little salty but i'll learn <laughs> it's hot honey don't touch this it's, oh it's okay it's warm so um we are going to continue with flooring and um meeting. brian's gonna this is alone for meeting so once he's done with his meeting, he will join me and um, do the flooring as well. We're getting there. We're happy that he's able to um, walk around now, even though he wants to be held in this moment in time because he's teething, but <sighs> this house is getting together. I need a haircut too. Oh yeah, that's right. Because Brian has an important thing to do tomorrow. Tuesday. Or, uh, yeah, but you have to prepare yeah. tomorrow, right? Yeah, do the run through. And he likes to cut a day before in case I miss up. It'll grow out a little bit. <laughs> Alrighty, so today we're gonna take a break because both of our bodies are, I mean, it's, it's like super painful and um, we are like having some carpal tunnel issues, both me and Brian, tinglies and numbness everywhere on our tips of the fingers and toesies and just, yeah, we need to take a break and let our body um, recover and uh, we'll get back to the house um, work tomorrow. But Brian's going to be um, doing his work, his other work and um, preparing himself for an important interview. So I have to cut his hair because he has to be showing his lovely, lovely face. So it has to look somewhat professional. He's gonna wear a shirt, a proper work shirt, but on the bottom down, from here down. Undies. <laughs> PJs, okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna cut his hair real quick, make him look nice and sharp. So we get that job real on in, you know? We're like this guy can trust to do my work because he's got a nice haircut, thanks to his wife. Okay, set up the station. He's like, <laughs> he's like, I've never been to a barber shop where I have to set up my own station. I'm like, dude, this is not 
that kind of setup, okay? You, you figure it out. Where's the chair? Huh? Where's the chair that we all use? It's in there somewhere. Um, so this restroom is not ready yet. But what we do have is the wall, both sides. Um, both sides are, uh, uh, drywalled and textured. So now we got a paint. So this paint I bought a long time ago, so I don't even know what color it is. I have to go color match it. And when you color match it, it's never the same. So I'm most likely going to have to paint the whole wall again. <laughs> My face is like, but I'm thinking myself, I'm, like you can't just paint a patch. Yes, you can. No, you can't. I did it in, in the other room over there, and you could see that it's okay, totally different. Okay, so this is just a small portion. No yeah. One cares. What is this? It's not the, for the thing, right? What? I don't know. Just put it um, on. Babe, just put it on. It's fine. Okay, are you gonna trash this? Yeah. Um. I might even do shiplap on that wall, so we'll see. Then you don't need to paint it. That's what I'm saying. Oh, <laughs> lucky <Like> you. <laughs> Anyways, um, this mirror right here, I put it here because it used to be a big hole where you have like um, a vanity or like a makeup station. I did not like that because it was all tucked away. It was really weird. So I broke down that wall and connected the two um, closet. And um, it used to be like, you know, a wall here. But we broke it down and um, we can walk through. Now I don't like the setup for the closet. I think it's a lot of space that I don't even use and you know me and space that I don't use. If I don't use it, we gotta get rid of it. And so I'm getting rid of this, this whole setup and just gonna have something super minimal. So that'll be way later because we have a lot on our hands and um, Brian just asked me today, Min, please don't break down any more things, okay? Not until later, much later. Next year. <laughs> All right, let's do this. And here we have it. Haircut. All done. Danke. Danke. <laughs> I just showered. Feeling really good, refreshed, and ready to take on the day tomorrow. We are just pausing once again on this house project because our bodies are literally, it's, it's dying, okay? So, uh, gotta give it a break and then get back on it tomorrow. All right, guys, good night!